Now on to something extremely exciting. We're gonna be taking you guys to a very cool place. It's actually an event that is um, hosted by some very, very cool people. Now for those of you who know Filipino celebrities, you guys might know these very cool people. Mm -hmm. Mabu High Squad. Today, RJ and I have been invited to... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. An event for the Somaros. Yes. Okay, guys, first of all, in the Mabuhay bus right now. We are on the road. Okay, there's traffic out there. See that, guys? <laughs> in the Mabuhay bus, I gotta like fix my hair because this is the launch of the Somaro catering company. For those of you who are new to the vlogs, the Somaros, they're basically a celebrity couple in the Philippines. Uh, both parents are actors and turns out their family are Mabuhay squad. <laughs> so um, they became friends with us maybe two years ago. They met up with RJ and I and we had a dinner with the kids and all of them. They're great. We love them. That's Gladys Reyes and Christopher Rojas and all their kids. They're great. You guys will meet them in a sec. And if you guys are Filipino, you guys definitely know them. They're like legends, especially Gladys Reyes. She is the legend actress who always plays a bad guy. <laughs> the contra vida, as they say in Filipino. Okay, I gotta fix my hair and stop talking. Seriously, I talk too much. Guys, I'm like eager to shave my hair. I have fantasies. I've been... It's bad. I hate when my hair is not fixed. Fix my hair. I don't even know how to fix it these days. I've been trying to grow it. I miss the simple days when it was just shaved, one hairstyle, perfect. Every hair was in place right when I woke up. Didn't have to worry about no bad hair day. It was always a good hair day. It was a no hair day. Anyways, we'll be there in a sec. A hairy Asian that misses being bald Asian. Okay, let's get out there. Also joining us is Ate Elsie. Hi Ate Elsie. She's gonna be meeting a lot of celebrities today. <laughs> Is that why she's joining? She wants to meet celebrities. RJ, I miss being Kalbo. <laughs> I hear that almost every day. <laughs> yeah, RJ does. I say it almost every day. Okay guys, we're here. 38 Valencia. Ooh. Oh my, look at these flowers, RJ. Are these like white roses? Ooh. So fancy. Oh my gosh, guys. This is... <gasps> it's quite fancy. Oh my gosh. What's going on? <gasps> RJ, I think we're underdressed. Oh my gosh, guys. Photos. <laughs> guys, Gladys and Christopher, congratulations on your new catering business. Yes, you're welcome. And more pictures. Okay. She says in personal, I look like I'm a kid. <laughs> hey guys, this is the mom of Gladys. Hello, Tita. Nice to meet you. Oh, okay. So Christopher has got French blood. He's French. Ah, uh, that's why Somero is the last name. Of course, it's like bringing our food to your table. Awesome. It's been so long, Christoph. Good to see you. Yeah, you're so big now. Oh my god. Guys, that's Christoph the son. Alright. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, to our families and friends, loved ones. Thank you for coming to our event. Thank you for meeting it. I'm grateful that I'm going to enjoy Guys, some very big names in media are here, including, but not limited to, Ricky Lowe, you see him? Very famous editorialist. He's kind of being blocked right now. And beside him is Mother Lily, owner of Regal Films. Guys, look at how big Crystal. I can't get over this. You're like, not a kid anymore. <laughs> My voice was like a mouse. Oh yeah, your voice is lowered. Puberty. <laughs> I'm so proud of your parents. Look at how awesome this catering. Look at how beautiful and lavish this looks. I love the colors. So guys, they've infused French with like Kapampangan, which is like a region in the Philippines, Pampanga. Look at how beautiful it looks. I love it, love it, love it. And guys, food coming up. Yes. Mm, guys, potato leek soup. Oh, yummy. RJ, we're so underdressed. Okay. For this. Alright, let's try this potato leek soup. This is so French, potato leek okay, soup. Okay, awesome question didn't have in mind about their catering. Mm. I'm sure you guys are going to want to know more about the 
Sweet birds. And now? OMG, we're doing a toast. That's the sister of Gladys. Passion, love, and support from family, friends, and everyone here, and exciting times ahead. Cheers! Yeah. Cheers! <laughs> Alcohol again. Like this, I would love to make a terrarium out of it. RJ knows everybody. He's like whispering in my ear. That's so and so. Who? In the pink. I love these roses. They're real and beautiful. Who is that, RJ? Oh. The one in black. Carmi Martin. Just an actress. Ooh. Guys, we're in the presence of great. Seriously. Mm, guys, linguine carbonara with pancetta lardon. OMG, I don't even know what that is. I'm just reading the menu. <laughs> okay, an Italian pasta dish using mushroom au jus. Cream and milk topped with Parmesan cheese and pancetta lardons. Oh my, guys, this looks delicious. Linguine. That is really good. What does that taste like? They are so good. The cream is so creamy. Oh my gosh. Goodbye keto diet. Seriously. I want to watch RJ eating this. He will love this. I know him. I mean to red sauce though. Yeah, RJ is more into the red sauces, but I'm trying to convert him to creams. Good, right? So yummy. Like, get a whole bunch of it. Okay, now try it. Good, right? <laughs> I knew you'd like it. Guys, this is Seafood Symphony. Oh my gulai. Mm. Oh my. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Delicious. <gasps> Here's the shrimp. Guys, open. Yummy. Hi there. You're so big now. How old are you? Nine now. And you're 14. And how old are you now? 11. Guys, the beautiful kids of um, Gladys and Christoph. Gavin, where's Gavin? He can speak now. All right. Really? How old is he now? Gavin is two years old. Well, congratulations to you guys on your parents' new venture. Thank you. <laughs> guys, chicken au gratin. Mmm. Breast chicken fillet. Dredged in bread flour and topped with spinach and bechamel sauce. Oh my. Thank goodness for no. <laughs> so let's try this chicken. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a food bowl. Go to the kitchen and grab something to eat. Don't torture yourself. Mm. 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 So delicious. So guys, Kristoff, the oldest, has taken a liking for music, he says, which is great. He's 14 years old, and that's around the time I started to really right, take a liking for music as well. Here, so uh, he's going to be singing. Quick. My mom and dad, another uh, round of applause. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm really proud of you guys. And he was uh, also you know, doing musicals. Guys, he uh, was the Tin Man in Wizard of Oz. Someday. Yes. Jazz. When the world is cold, I will feel a glow just thinking of He's good. And the way you look tonight. Alright. OMG guys, I'm already full, but look at this. Short ribs with a red wine reduction. Oh MG. Mm. So now at this portion, they're doing a question and answer period with the press. This launch will appear on like newspapers, on TV, on radio, all of that. All the press is here to cover this event. Guys, I am so full, but the food is so good. 
<laughs> We're being spoiled right now. And there's more. There's like more courses coming up. This is totally a tasting menu. Guys, an over 10 course meal. OMG, look at the desserts. Uh -huh. Oh my. Mmm, red velvet cake and not too sure what this is, but it looks delicious. Oh. Oh, yes. Mm, okay, well, I don't want to mix it. I'll just. Archie. <laughs> good. All right. Archie says it's good. It's good. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 So interesting. Okay, so catering companies, see, I, we're new to the catering world, but you can offer a venue. So this is their venue, but they can come to you wherever your event is. And they provide everything, the styling, the event styling. See, all of these little things they provide. The food, of course, they cook, these little plates, everything. Tablecloth, I'm assuming as well, yeah? Like set menus that they can they can cater they can on your budget and your needs. Like let's say you want a Greek night. Yeah. Right? So, um, yeah, that's really cool. What a cool business. I feel like my mom would do, <laughs> would make a great catering business. <laughs> totally my mom's thing. I found a love for me. Don't just die right. Happy belated Valentine's. was so good oh my gosh I would love to have more of this and more of this and more of this they've got a cool photography wall oh, hi, squad. Donita Rose yes, hi, good hello. evening hello. yes joining the evening yes <laughs> and congratulations again thank you for having us Gladys and thank you for coming yes food is delicious so guys if you need catering done here in the Philippines you know who to call yes show me Ate got her picture can I see the photos? The photo? <laughs> there! Alright, with Gladys and Kristoff. And she's now waiting for Donita. Donita Rose. <laughs> Alright! There you go! <laughs> Yay! And they um, printed the photos for us. What an awesome, awesome fun night. Good morning. Hello, <laughs> Aunt Love Forever. Aunt Love Forever. Aunt Love Forever. I think that's confusing for you. <laughs> Ligaya is super chatty this morning. Good morning, guys. How are you on this lovely Friday? Mm hmm. TGIF. <laughs> um, right? <laughs> Thank God it's Friday. Okay, guys. So, um, positive affirmation for Friday. Let's see. Ooh. Here we go, guys. <laughs> like, I is excited. It is safe for me to be prosperous and to earn more than my parents did. I attract abundance now. Ooh, a money consciousness. Positive affirmation. It is safe for me to be prosperous and to earn more than my parents did. I attract abundance now. She says this, I know I know why she says this, because Louise Hay 
in one of her books talks about how we tend to have defaults like we set certain I guess standards for ourselves and we learn a lot of our defaults from our parents who are our first role models right like while our brains are being shaped and all that parents income sometimes can be I guess the default which applies also for earning so I like this positive affirmation. It is safe for me to be prosperous and to earn more than my parents did. I attract abundance now. There you go. A wealth positive affirmation. So guys, I was up last night till 4 a.m. Couldn't sleep because I was watching some of the most epic and cute, cute videos of the puppies. By the way, in case you're wondering what puppies, um, our future puppy was born. My cousin Edmark and Nika, their dog Miranda had puppies. They're Chorkies, half Chihuahua, half Yorkies. And you guys gotta see the puppy videos. Check them out.